So YouTube divers, I'd like to have the chance of going snorkeling or diving with you someday. Crazy loud all summer long. Really loud. Speaking of sound, sound can do some crazy things underwater, and the practice of listening for a boat above you and not using a dive flag just really isn't a good idea. So play it safe and use your dive flags. And boaters, give us 150 feet. Thanks. Adventure Seekers, the other thing I really like doing is to fabricate towards the sport. And what that simply means is anything I can do that allows me to enjoy the sport a lot more easily. Um, and this is one of those items. This is a wakeboard that I simply turned into a dive board. And what I've done is I've added handles and some flexible strapping. And it allows me to tuck my gear into this and carry this to the beach. This board allows me to have access to areas that are not real accessible, where you have to take a hike or a portage down to the area where you want to get to do the diving or the snorkeling. Simply take your dive flag and place it on the post. This is a shin guard that I turned into a platform to hold my dive knife and my dive watch and to also hook on to the dive board. Simply pull it out from the reel and now you can lock this and put out as much line as you want so your board can comfortably follow you around. Even doing barrel rolls, the tether line is easily manageable. If enough subscribers are interested in making their own dive board, I will edit a DIY video on this build at a later date. I see adventures.